Working in wood is an industrial arts activity. The children enjoy building trucks, boats, and airplanes. Dicky chooses a truck picture from the picture box. He wants to build a flatbed truck. The teacher finds a simple plan for a truck, like the one in the picture. Dicky returns the picture to the box so others may use it. He selects wood of the proper size, a board for the truck bed, a block the same width for the engine, Getting tools and materials together before starting to work is good planning. A C-clamp is used to hold the wood firmly to the sawhorse. Dicky decides on the length of the truck bed. Before sawing, he uses a tri-square to mark the wood. The safety block guides the saw. Dickie is careful to hold the block back of the red paint. To keep the wood from breaking, he holds the end. Choosing the right size nail is important before nailing the two pieces together. Dicky will have to turn the truck over. He knows the nail is the right length to go through the thin wood into the thick block. One nail allows the block to turn. Several nails hold the block firmly. Dickie chooses the wood he needs for the axles. From this piece, he will cut two axles and the seat of the truck. Jane needs help with a bent nail in her boat. The claw of the hammer removes the nail. 
A block under the hammer head makes the nail come out easily. Jane chooses a new nail in place of the bent one. The axles on Dickie's truck need to be a little wider than the truck bed. This will allow the wheels to turn when they are nailed in place. Dickie wants to put the wheels on. The teacher explains that if he puts them on now, he will have trouble drilling the hole for the steering post. The brace and bit is used to drill the hole at an angle. Dickie and the teacher agree on the length of the steering post. To keep the dowel from turning while it is cut, Dickie uses a bench hook. Dickie fits the steering wheel to the post. Dickie has cut the parts of the truck cab and he's ready to put them together. The seat, the back, and the top of the cab are the same width as the truck bed. First, the back of the cab is nailed to the seat block. The top is nailed to the back of the cab. Dickie starts two nails through the bottom of the truck bed. These will hold the cab in place.
Now the truck is ready for the four wheels. Dicky marks the axle to locate the center. Dickey uses a thin nail, which will let the wheel turn easily. To keep the wheel from slipping off, the head of the nail must be larger than the hole. While building his truck, Dickey planned carefully. He used tools correctly and safely. He selected materials wisely. He's happy with his finished truck.